Everybody, this is Easy, Easy Street Gaming, back at last, after a few short months. Brand new partner in Brutal Age, called Rockwell, defensive partner. I mean, he's got some sick, sick skills. I think people are gonna really like him. Only took me 130 turtles t to get the blue. <laughs> I quit after that. We had to split this video up into two videos actually. One is it going to be on the blue Rockwell. We got a lot of footage from him. One's going to be on the red and green. Got a lot of things to go over. Man, there's been a lot of stuff that's gone on since I've been on last. So we'll just kind of get right into it and, and uh, we'll ease into everything else a little later. Blue Rockwell, he's got three skills that are, two of them are just outright impressive. Just to sum him up, because we'll go over all three a little later. He's got a shield push, which attacks one player, uh, uh, enemy, and may knock him out. Then he's got a, a shield for the whole team. And then he's got a revive plus invincibility. Three tough skills to, to overcome if you're the opponent. Right now, the game is saying Hippo and Cat is probably the most popular war patterns that that, that people have on him so far. Uh, so high, high health is needed for, for blue and speed. You, you want your shield or you want your the, the, the one that's going to be shielding you, the one that's going to be reviving you to, to get as many turns as possible. So speed, high health. Uh, I believe that his healing or shielding depends on how high his hit points are. So you want that to be as high as possible too. I went with uh, with whale and hippo and then lion. Got to put lion in there too. And because this is the first video I've made in a while, I'm, we're going to throw in a couple of little pointers in while we're doing the video for... Rockwell. First of all, war patterns. We've talked about this a lot in the past, but just to, uh, as a reminder, try to use all all of your legendaries. If you have any purple war patterns, you get them at level zero. They're purple. Remember, they're going to have five skills on them to begin with, so you can see everything it has to offer right up, right to begin with. Uh, it makes a huge difference between uh, a legendary and a and a common, which is the gray war patterns, and the, the green one, which you see right there. That's actually called a magic war pattern. So it goes from common to magic to rare to ancient all the way to legendary. Legendaries are the purple. And as you see reds down in the bottom right corner reminding us to subscribe to Easy Street Gaming. I had some news. We had the developers of, of Brutal Age contact me. And we, well I agreed to do some collaboration stuff with them. So maybe seeing some more of Easy Street Gaming in game. We'll, we'll see what, how, that all, how that all works out. So, thank you, Red. Or Agatha. Never heard that one before. <laughs> so, back to... Remember to sell all your war patterns. Get in some good habits. I'm getting yelled at by the cartoon character. Great. Remember to sell all your war patterns. They're not five-star. You want to only keep five-star war patterns once you get up to... Uh, you know, once you get a little more developed... As you're collecting your five star war patterns, you, you're going to probably want to sell your five stars as well. You sell all the grays off. Eventually, you sell all the all the greens off as well and start keeping only the blue and up war patterns. It sounds a little crazy at first, but that's what you're going to need to do to compete as you get as you develop your character, as you develop your base a little more. People out there like me that can't hardly see the screen on their phone to play these mobile games. If, if you're having a hard time with that and you want to just play on your PC, download... Blue Stacks. I've been using it for about five years. It's pretty awesome. You can play all your games that you play on your phone on your on your TV. I have mine hooked up to my big screen. 
it kind of spoils you too, just so you know. Also, last thing before we get into some of the actual uh, game footage, Tap of Fun's got like I don't know, 15 games out. So if you ever get sick of playing the same game over and over, and you want to find some others, you can uh, go down. There's links in the description for all these games, but there's a, there's a ton of them. I didn't even I had no idea until I started looking myself. So check it out. On to the first replay. This is my team right here. Actually has three good partners on it. Desert Prince goes down. Normally this is where I start to worry about it. But Blue Rockwell uses his one of his main skill called the Solemn Vow. Brings back the Desert Prince from the dead and gives him invincibility along with one other partner. So that's two partners with invincibility after he goes down. That that could be that could be a major, major shift in power in Brutal Age. Uh, you just saw him do the shield push. Not a, not a huge attack from from Blue uh, Rockwell. His biggest his biggest attribute to the team is going to be the when he brings someone back from the dead and gives him the, the the two invincibilities. He also does a he also has a skill that is gives all four partners a shield based on how much damage they've already taken. It's kind of a complex algorithm that they use for it. And coming up next, we have probably one of the best defensive teams I've seen in a long time. Top 50 match. So we'll key in the, the dual music. One of the newer players from Server 323 after the merge. Chief J, also known as J Acid. One of my favorite names also. J is using four limited partners. All four of them are strong as can be. Including the uh, Red Huntress. Probably top three partner. His opponent was was the one on the attack. Jay's on defense, and he made a little error right away because he used all four blue partners, and Jay has two green, so that means that he is actually the actually being restrained. So you have to be mindful of, of the teams that you put in when you're on offense. You have to you have to try to give yourself an advantage, a color advantage, and remember the restraint system. Blue restrains red, red restrains green, green restrains blue. So he actually Jay was actually a little. A little lucky there because he he gets uh, attacked by a team that he restrained instead of vice versa. And there you see Blue Rockwell's second ability, second skill called Shelter. And remember, Shelter he doesn't give the same amount of a shield to everyone. It's all based on how much damage they've already taken. The more damage the teammate has already taken, the more of a, the bigger shield he'll get. So it's kind of a sliding scale, which can be helpful. Uh, Keep in mind, if you have uh, an all-blue team, you may have the Nomads on your team, then they have a, an enormous amount of health. So some of these partners can get a, a huge benefit from the, from the shield once they're down in health. So just another, just another reminder, re remember the restraint system. It's actually a real big advantage to, to keep the restraint system in mind and make sure that you're not putting in partners that are actually being restrained by the enemy, especially when you're on, on attack. Uh, which that leads me to my next point. When you're on defense, don't put in a, an all blue or an all red team because then the person that's attacking you can can easily restrain you. Also, keep in mind the order of attacks and, and how the partners attack each other. Uh, it would probably be a good idea to use Blue Rockwell with, an, with a blue team. Don't, I, I don't think you'd want to use him as the only blue partner and an all red partners with them for example because then if you have a green partner that you're facing then they'll attack rockwell first and then now your your shielder and your revive partner is getting attacked first you want to try to keep him alive as long as possible so put him in there with other big big blue players partners not players <laughs> moving ahead oh, i want to show this replay because it's pretty cool we got a two-star partner a three-star partner and then you have the, the the puppet master, the marionette, and Blue Rockwell. Just a different di different looking team. You don't see very many uh, two stars in there anymore. And another reminder, like the tenth this video, don't forget about the artifacts. Every one of your partners should have an artifact on them that you're using. Uh, we have a new artifact with Rockwell. We'll explain that a little more in the next video. But uh, I'm using on the tree tree man. We have. The Mr. Dagger's artifact is called Cruel Blade, and Cruel Blade is when you're attacking every debuff that the enemy has, there's a percentage chance that you will do, 
You'll ignore the defense and do 10% more damage, which is similar to Tree Man's skill in the Elderberry attack. Uh, the Elderberry, I believe, is every debuff. You get 50% added to your attacks, and that is also stackable, so you can have some incredibly big attacks. Of course, I'm still looking for the elusive 250,000 damage per the team that we had last year on the channel. I'll get there someday. So if anyone ends up landing one of those huge attacks from Tree Man, make sure you get in touch with me. Uh, you can get in touch with me online, A-T-L-E-Z-E, -E, or in-game if you're in any one of my servers, most of them go stand. <laughs> so, Blue Rockwell already went down. The only ones left are the 2-star, the 3-star, and Zero's the 3-star. She's done some great attacks too. So there are some there are some great partners out there that you don't have to just get the limited five star partners and spend two or three hundred turtles to get them and get lucky. So first video out in a while, but I've got some some ambitious dreams for the next few videos. I have part two that's already made. I'm just uploading it in about within within the next 24 hours. So to all the fans of Brutal Age. This has been easy. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.